question. Um, hi, Jessica. My name is Jessica. We're going to start our slow vinyasa, laying on our backs, keeping your legs straight, down against the mat, your hands, palms face down at your sides, foot crisscross over your belly. Close your eyes and bring soft gaze onto the ceiling above you. Begin to connect with your breath, deepening with each inhale and each exhale. Breathing in through your nose, filling your lungs with balloons, and exhaling through your nose, letting it all go. As you stay connected with your breath, use this moment to let yourself slow down at the beginning of what might be a real busy week for you. Thank yourself for showing up on the mat today and dedicating a space to your own well-being and personal practice. Again, keeping control over your breath. Let yourself melt against the mat and the floor. Letting the floor support you. Letting yourself feel stable. Take the back of your head, your shoulders, your elbows, sit bones, heels. Letting yourself feel grounded, even if just in this moment. When you hold on to this space of peace, begin to take note of how the room feels against your skin. Bring attention the coolness and warmth of the air against your face, against your hands and your feet. How does the humidity or dryness of the air feel coming in through your nose, filling up your lungs? Tune in to any sounds you might hear around you. Anything coming from my end of the screen, any creaks or cracks in whatever building you might be in, any sounds out of the window. Use these sounds and sensations to let yourself feel attached to your environment, aware of your surroundings. All of the your eyes closed. Staying in this place of stillness, start to imagine a red cube forming a face of your spine. As you inhale and exhale, let the warmth of that red light travel up and down your body, down your legs, towards your toes, up your abdomen, towards your shoulders. Letting the extra warmth linger in the places in your body that need special attention today. as you reach your shoulders with that light. Let the warmth fall down your arms, your fingertips. Let it travel up to your neck, towards your crown. Allow this light to root you down against the mat.
letting yourself feel stable. Is there any points of contact with the floor? Let yourself fall into a natural breath. Begin to take a quick rest. I'll bring you back in just a few moments. Begin to deepen your breath through your nose. Letting each inhale flood your body with oxygen and nutrients, nourishing your organs. And exhaling to release anything that doesn't serve you. In this place of stillness, set your intention for the class, something you'd like to accomplish, or dedication to a loved one. It could be a mantra, or something you'd like to get done. Start to awaken your body before you bring your fingers and your toes. Bringing gentle music back. On your next inhale, breathe deep through your nose. Sense so with your arms up overhead, your upper arms rising up your ears. Bring your fingers to stretching. Reach your toes in the opposite direction. Taking the deepest stretch you've taken today. Exhale through your nose, bring your hands back down to your sides or over your belly. Inhale, come up and around through your arms, taking that deep stretch again. And exhale, come back down and around. Inhale, come up one last time. Taking a deeper stretch yet. And exhale, roll over onto your right side into a field position. Using your right arm as a pillow, keeping your eyes closed.
and then keeping your eyes closed. Push up into a comfortable seat at the top of your mat. Bringing your hands, palms face down up to your knees. Keeping your spine straight, your crown lifted. Staying connected with your breath. On your next inhale, bring your right ear over your right shoulder. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, left ear, left shoulder. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, come to your right side. Exhale, down into chest. Inhale, left ear, left shoulder. Take a few more rounds at your own speed. Exhaling your way down. And inhaling your way up. One last full round and bring your head back to center. Inhale, sweep your arms up and around overhead. Reaching your fingertips up to the ceiling. And exhale, bring your hands to prayer at heart center. Inhale, sweep your arms up and around. Stretching deep through your arms and torso. Exhale, hands to prayer. Inhale, come up. Reaching through your arms. Exhale, prayer. Inhale, sweep your arms up one more time. And exhale into the gentle twist on your forward right side. Bringing your left hand to your right knee and planting your right hand behind you. If your eyes are still closed, you can begin to flutter them open. Bringing your gaze over your right shoulder. Inhaling to straighten and lengthen through your spine. And exhaling to deepen your twist. breaths at your own pace, going as fast or as slow as your body. On your next inhale, sweep your arms back up overhead. And exhale to prayer. Sweep your arms up and around, inhaling. And exhale to take the twists on the other side, bringing your right hand to your left knee and taking your left hand behind you. Your eyes come over your left shoulder this time. Follow the same breath work here, inhaling for length and exhaling to deepen. Again, at your own speed. Going as fast or as slow as serves you. Use your next inhale to sweep your arms back up or round over head. Exhale to prayer. Inhale through your nose, sweep your arms up. 
Exhale through your nose, fold over your legs, walking your hands forward, keeping your spine straight, crown lift your gaze forward, keeping your sit bones grounded behind you. Again, we're going to follow that same breath work, inhaling for length and exhaling to deepen, walking your fingertips further into the pose. On your next inhale, begin to one by one, walk your hands back up towards your body. And exhale, bring your hands to prayer. Inhale, deep through your nose, filling your lungs. And exhale, sigh it out your mouth, let it all go. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, sigh it out. <sighs> Inhale, one more round, deep through your nose. And exhale, sigh it out. <sighs> Plant your hands and bring your hips back, pointing your knees for your tabletop. We're going to see cat cows here. Inhaling, tucking your toes, dropping your belly, lifting your gaze. Your cow. Exhaling through your nose, untucking your toes, curving your spine, dropping your gaze. The cat. Inhale, cow, drop your belly. Exhale, cat, curving your spine. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, come back to a neutral spine. Walk your hands a few inches forward. Exhale, bring your hips back to your heels. Inhale, bring your hips to the right, forward, exhale to the left, and back for a full circle. Inhale to come up on your right side, and exhale to come back on your left, moving at your own speed. After your next full circle, switch direction. Inhaling to come up on your left. Then exhaling to come back on your right. After your next full circle, bring your hips all the way back for a child's pose, keeping your hands reach out forward, and dropping your forehead down to the mat. Your hips come all the way back to your heels. And you can take a moment here to connect with your breath, connect with that attention you sat at the beginning of class, and connect with your sense of stability. As you reach yourself down through your hands, through the legs, even through your forehead. This pose is here if you ever need a mental or physical rest. Or even if you just want to reconnect with your breath or intention. Inhale to come back to a tabletop. 
exhale tuck your toes and the fingers up and back for down dog. Pedal your feet, sway your hips, roll up on your toes. Take any movements here that feel good for you. Come to stillness. Inhale, bend your knees, bring your gaze forward. And exhale to walk your feet one by one to the top of the mat. Swing forward on your leg. Inhale, halfway lift, straighten your spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale to your nose, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms up and around the head. And exhale, bring your hands onto your sides, palms and gaze forward. Staying active through your arms and through your legs. Inhale, sweep your arms up and around the head. And exhale, fold over your straight legs. Inhale, halfway lift, straighten your spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands and sit your feet back for plank. Lower down by dropping your knees, your chest, and your chin. And inhale, come up between your hands for a cobra back bend. Lifting your chest, bringing your gaze to the ceiling. Exhale, lower your chest back down onto the mat. Inhale, lift your chest, lift your gaze, straighten your elbows. Exhale, lower back down. Inhale, come up one last time. Maybe keeping your fingers back leg yet. Exhale, tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back for downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up and out for a three legged dog. And exhale, bring your right foot up between your hands. Dropping your back knee, untucking your back toes, bringing your hands up to your right knee, and then up overhead for a low lunge. Keep your gaze forward. Bring your hands to prayer. Inhale. And exhale. Take a twist over your right side, putting your left elbow over your right knee. You can keep your hands at prayer, butterfly them open, or take a bind into your right arm around your back. Breathe into any sensations or stretches you might feel. If you chose to take the bind, bring your hands back to prayer at heart center. And slowly under the pose, coming back to center. Inhale, sweep your arms back up overhead. Exhale, bring your palms together and come to a slight back bend for a crescent lunge, bending deeper into your right knee. And reaching your fingertips backwards. Again, breathing into any sensations you might feel here. Inhaling deep through your nose. And exhaling through your nose. Inhale. 
Then exhale, cuddle your hands down to around your right foot. Hug your back toes, lift your back knee. Inhale. And exhale. Step that left foot up to meet your right, staying folded over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift, straighten your spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms up and around overhead. And exhale, fold back over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, turn your hands, step your feet back to the feet. Lower down by dropping your knees, your chest, and your chin. And inhale to come up for your back bend. Exhale, tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back for down dog. Inhale, come to three legged dog, lifting your left leg up and out behind you. Exhale, bring that left foot up between your hands, dropping your right knee, untucking your right toes. Bring your hand up to your left knee as a half step, and then reach them up overhead for a low lunge. You bring your gaze forward, your wrists stacked over your shoulders, stacked over your hips. Bring your hands to prayer. Inhale. And exhale. We're going to see that same twist on this side, twisting over your left side. Taking the same variations you took on the other side. You can butterfly your arms out or come to a bind, wrapping your left arm around your back. Breathing in to any sensations you feel. If you chose to take the bind, bring your hands back to prayer. And undo the pose, coming back to center. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Exhale, bring your palms together, bend deeper into your left knee, and come to a back bend for a crescent lunge. Keep your breath deep. Inhale. And exhale, cargo your hands down to around your left foot. Inhale, tuck your toes, lift your back knee. And exhale, step that right foot up to meet your left, staying folded over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come up and around through your arms. And exhale, bring your hands to prayer at heart center. Bring your feet about max width apart, pointing your toes outwards. Inhale. And exhale, lower down into a yogi squat, pushing your elbows into your knees and your knees into your elbows. Keep your spine straight, crown lift, your knees forward. Plant your right hand and reach your left to the ceiling. You can stay here in this pose, having your gaze follow your left thumb, or to deepen the pose, wrap your left arm around your back to reach your right thigh. Breathe into any stretches and sensations you might feel throughout your body. If you chose to take the bind, slowly unwrap. Reaching your fingertips back up to the ceiling. Then come back to center, bringing your hands back to prayer. 
from this Malasana Yogi squat, we're gonna do the twist on the other side, plunging your left hand and reaching your right up to the ceiling. Have your eyes follow your right thumb. And if you took the same reach on the other side, take it here too, wrapping your right arm around your back for your left thigh. If you took the bind, slowly unwrap, reaching your fingertips back to the ceiling. And bring your hands back to prayer from the last one I go to squat. Inhale. And exhale, side out your mouth. Inhale, point your hands. And exhale, so slowly lower your sit bones down onto the mat, bringing your legs forward. Bring your hands, fingers just reaching forward, palms face to the ceiling. Your eyes follow your fingertips. Inhale to prepare. And exhale to slowly, as controlled as you can, do your core. Lower down onto the mat. One vertebrae at a time. Until you lay completely flat. One spot on your back, hug your knee into your chest. And take a gentle rock to the left and to the right, massaging any tension out of your lower back. Come to stillness at center, keeping your right knee hugged into your chest. Release your left leg down and out onto the mat. Open your right leg out to your right side, either keeping your right hand there for support or bringing your, both your arms out to your teeth. Have your eyes follow your left hand in this teeth, bringing them over your left shoulder. Plug your right knee back into your chest and bring it over your left side, keeping both your shoulders down against the mat, bringing your arms back to your knee, and having your gaze come over your right side. Stay mindful of your shoulders against the mat. Hug your right knee back into your chest and leave it with your left, hugging both knees in. Take that sway again to the left and to the right. Come to stillness, keeping your left knee hugged into your chest. We're going to release just our right leg down onto the mat, feeling the knee to pose on this side. Open your left knee out to the left side. Bring your arms to a tee or cactus. Bring your gaze over your right shoulder. Hug your left knee back into your chest and bring it over your right side, keeping both shoulders down against the mat. Bringing your gaze over your left shoulder. Bringing your arms to its knee to the cactus. Put 
of your left knee back into your chest. And meet it with your right. Taking that gentle sway again to the left and to the right. Come to stillness. Reach between your knees to the outside edges of your feet. And open your legs out for a happy baby. Take any variations here that you'd like. Whether that's straightening one leg and then the other, or both at the same time. You just take a rock back and forth. You can bring the soles of your feet together and then holding towards your body. Just take any movements here, any last movements that help your body feel good before we take our final rest of the class. Whenever you're ready, come to lay completely on your back, straightening your legs out, breaking your heels, bringing your hands out of your sides, palms face down, your grounding. The inside edges of your feet face up to the ceiling. Close your eyes with a soft gaze in your head. Stay deep through your inhales and your exhales. Bring attention back to the temperature of the room or your skin. Or the warmth or coolness of the air feels against your hands, your feet, and your face. Bring focus onto the humidity or the dryness of the air and how it feels coming in into your nose, filling up your lungs. Listen to any sounds you might hear around you, any noises coming from my energy screen, any creaks or cracks in the building in. Any noises out of the window. Letting yourself connect to the environment around you, all while keeping your eyes closed. Staying aware of your surroundings, all while holding this place on the map for yourself. Show yourself some gratitude for showing up on the map today. Creating space to better yourself and your practice. Start to reconnect with that red light from the beginning of class. As it fills up your body, let it with each breath come back to your lower back, letting the light and the warmth trickle back to the base of your spine. Letting an extra light run through the areas that need some special attention today, whether that's mental or physical. Let this light trickle down your crown, down your neck, up your fingertips, up your arms, to your shoulders, and back down your torso, up from your toes, up your legs. Begin to fall back into a natural breath 
as you do this one, let's say it's relaxed. Begin to deepen your breath. Inhaling through your nose and exhaling through your nose. Awaken your body by bringing it back into your fingers and your toes. On your next inhale, Sweep your arms up and around overhead, stretching through your fingertips, rounding off your ears with your upper arms, stretching through your toes, your abdomen, and your legs. For the deepest stretch you've taken today. Exhale, roll over onto your right side, keeping your eyes closed into a fetal position using your right arm as a pillow. When you feel ready, again, keeping your eyes closed, use your hands to push up into a comfortable seat at the top of your mat, bringing your hands to prayer, heart center. Use this one last moment to reconnect with your attention. Thank you for showing up for yourself on the mat today and for giving me the honor of guiding your class. Namaste.